Hi everyone, we will learn how to export a list created using Python to an Excel file and do mathematical operations. You can follow the YouTube channel for more programming projects. I need the OpenPy Excel library. I can start the transfer process by using the keywords pip install in the terminal section. First let's learn how we can create the Excel file. We can use the workbook function for file operations. I am specifying the file name in the save function. When the code runs, an Excel file will be created in the project. An empty Excel file has been created. We will create a list in a moment and send it to the Excel file accordingly. We can set a title for the sheet. I will use the active function. You can specify any title with title. We changed the title of sheet. I will create a list. The list will include the grades of two students, music and science courses. I can create the list with this format. I am saving the key values in the list into a variable. I also save the name column before the key values. Let's add the list using the append. I will try to export the entire list to an Excel file with a simple for loop. I am sending the values in the list to the grace variable in order. I will then save it to Excel file as appropriate. I can use the append function. We send all the values in the list to Excel file. There is a nice feature that the library provides does with. When any data in the list changes, the information is updated automatically when we run the course without deleting them in the Excel file. Now I will add more lessons and students.
you can expand the list as much as you want. All values in the list have been sent to the Excel file. I will show the average of student grades on the screen. I need a new for loop. I will use the column ladder function to access the columns. I need to transfer the library to the project. Using the function, I can now access the columns. I will calculate using Excel commands. I add the values between the second and sixth columns and divide by the number of data. The average of the grades is displayed on the screen. I can change the color or other physical properties of any information. To do this, I transfer the font file. I will access the columns using for loop. Then I will change its color and other physical properties using the font function. In fact, the color of columns has changed, but we cannot see this in the Visual Studio. I want to open the file and show you its color has changed. You can use different colors. Finally, I will add the average information to the line showing the average. I add the information average in the seventh line of the first column. By using these codes, you can add information to any field in the Excel file. You can subscribe to YouTube channel for more programming projects.